Okay, today we're going to take a look at a new Wear and Joel ink collection release we just received yesterday. These are 30 milliliter inks and they do join Wear and Joel's lit collection. So all the inks are inspired by literature and this particular collection is inspired by the writings of Lee Yuxa, a Korean poet. This first ink that I put down was Seven Colored Ocean. And these are all 30 milliliter square glass heavyweighted ink bottles. I really like the wear and ink bottles. They're easy to get into and out of, and they close really firmly. I've never had one leak on me. This next ink is called The Autumn Night After a Thousand Years, and it's, it's a glistening ink, so let's see how that goes down. So if you're not familiar with Wear and Joel's lit collection of inks, they have several different collections, and each is inspired by a different... Um, writer from various regions around the world. Uh, many of them are Korean writers because that's this is a Korean ink maker, but they have other writers as well featured from different regions. This third ink in the Lee Yuxa collection is a pink ink, and this is called Dizzy Scent of Maiwa, and I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, um, but let's look at it. goes down really light. Um, I'm intrigued by this one, though, because I've already heard people um, give positive comments about it. The poet that inspired the this ink collection was an activist in Korea during um, the early 1900s when Korea was occupied by Japan. And he started writing after he spent his first chunk of time imprisoned for his um, basically revolutionary actions. Um, and his name, the name he uses to publish his poetry, Lee Yuxa, he actually pulled from his prison cell number, 264, because that's the way it read was Lee Yuxa. Next ink, Black Dream, and that's another glistening ink. And then this last, the fifth ink, is Dewey Starlight. And the fifth one is also another glistening ink. So you have three glistening inks and then two standard inks in this ink collection. And we're gonna let this dry and then we'll come back and give you a look at it once it's dry so you can see um, how that glistening comes out and if we see any other traits coming out. Okay, and here's a look at all five of the inks in the collection once that the swatches were dry, and you can see the glistening aspect of those glisteners, and you can also see those other inks have some good shading and a little bit of sheen. Check out Wearing Your Links at Pinchley.com.